So as soon as I roll up into the slabs, I see my friends and I meet some new friends and they're like, hey, we're gonna go pull a bus across the slabs with my bread truck. You wanna do it? Okay, new strange person I've just met, let's do it. Um, here's some footage from the attempt to do this said adventure that was going to occur in, I don't know, just a quick couple of hours of fun, if that. Well, no, because what none of us were told uh, by the guy who wanted us to pull the bus across the slabs was that he had slashed all the tires and then dug two of the tires into the ground to level the bus. Um, yeah, getting in where it was was a lot different than trying to move it now due to the fact that previously it had all four tires and it wasn't dug into the ground. Uh, but here are a couple attempts to, to pull that bus out and they were at it for three hours trying to dig that thing out. And then the sun went down and it got cold and everybody's like, oh, this. But yeah, here's that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did it even move? No.
because the guy who went to, into the gas station in front of us in Nyland just got off the same exit we did in San Diego. Of course, he went right, and we're going left, but still. I don't know why that makes me happy. Why does that make me happy? <laughs> So a little fill-in. I got my endoscopy. It was inconclusive. They took biopsies, but they don't know why I feel nauseous all the time. Um, I didn't. I intended to take video after, but I felt like complete garbage, um, and I had a really bad emotional experience while on the, or coming off of the um, sedation. So, I basically came into my van and threw a bunch of stuff out of it and cleaned it while feeling like utter garbage. And then the next day I felt okay. So here's on to that. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we doing projects? Projects? So I took these pull-out table thingies that were here, but I never used them and they just caught dog hair and dirt and gross stuff, so I covered it up with these on both sides. And then this was where the fire extinguisher went, but that's also where my water bottles go and so I never use it for the fire extinguisher so I just covered that hole up too just to make it a little cleaner of course this is never clean doesn't matter how much I scrub it but you know you do what you can and the fridge now has a cover and doesn't look all silly minus that gooby gone spot which will be goo gone in a minute now I have this new fan, it's so beautiful, and it moves around, you can adjust where it's, where it's going. I like it, and it moves air better. It helps improve the air movement that the uh, Max Air, or whatever fan I have on the ceiling does. And then I also have these lights, which when I first got this van, I tore out this light thing that was here. Um, because it was sticking out to here and then the lights came out to here and they were just really dull and useless. So I tore them out thinking I'd fix that soon and uh, almost three years later, I finally got some light in here again. And that's so exciting because this place is a cave inside, especially if I don't have the windows open. So on cold days, it gets super dark because the tent which is, the tent's great, I love the privacy, but it's also terrible because it's like a cave in here. But now I have the lights and it's less cavey, which is great. So yeah, those are some improvements that I've made recently and I'm excited about it. I don't look excited about it, but I am.